A scientist, a tourism entrepreneur and a pioneering bushwoman are among those named as this year's Queensland Greats. The annual awards recognise people who've made a big contribution to Queensland's development. The late conservationist and crocodile hunter Steve Irwin was also honoured. He was one of Queensland's most famous exports. Have a go at this whopper! Woo -hoo -hoo! Hi, hi, hi. Nine years ago, Steve Irwin's zany conservation efforts were cut short. A stingray barb pierced his chest while he was filming a new TV series. He died what he did. He loved doing best. Last night, his family accepted his Queensland Great Award. He was the greatest dad on planet Earth. And I can remember growing up, he was so passionate about Queensland. His children are following in his footsteps. We are continuing all of his research efforts and trying to, you know, honour his legacy. And today, to be able to accept this award, we are we're so glad. Nobody was more proud of being a Queenslander than Steve. Another Queensland icon, the banana. Professor James Dale was recognised for genetically modifying them to make the crop disease resistant and more nutritious. Vitamin A, a deficiency, for instance, is still one of the major killers of kids in developing countries in the world. We're, we're trying to do something about that. There was a claim too for Andrew Bryce, the co-founder of online tourism company whatif.com. He uses his wealth to fund scholarships. It's all about making children aware in state high schools that tertiary education is a possibility for them. The RSL joined the honours list for its Mates for Mates program supporting returned soldiers and Pat Fennell, who spent her life fighting for rural Queenslanders. We do need our people in the bush very much. These people are being honoured. They deserve the recognition. For efforts past and present.